years to admit that I don't know my native language. For me, growing up in Western society, it's not necessary, but I want to learn. This is my story on how to learn Telugu in 30 days. Just one question. Why now? First, a little bit about myself. I was born in India, but my family migrated to the U.S. when I was one. Arriving to the U.S. at such an early age, naturally, my native tongue became English. Growing up, I was never pushed to learn Telugu. I guess my parents thought it would come naturally. My grasp of language, I would describe as basically only being able to understand the basic words and phrases. And when it came to speaking, I knew little to nothing. Unable to speak my language, I've had poor communication and ultimately relationships with my relatives in India. Now that I've grown up, it's easy to ignore my native culture, but I always felt like there was something genuinely wrong with it. So I decided that this year, my goal was to learn Telugu. I was particularly motivated because I planned to take a trip with my mom to India. In this trip, I knew I wanted to speak with my relatives on a personal level rather than through my mom as a language proxy. Plus, I was cocky. I mean, I've never tried to learn. I believed that I could learn Telugu easily if I set my mind to it. So I set out to do so. I've broken down my process into four steps. Step one, build the habit. I asked myself, how much time can I spend learning every day? I personally chose a minimum of one hour per day. This can vary depending on your schedule. If I was to be successful, I needed to make this a habit. Habits are extremely important with long-term goals and especially learning a language, which comes in three stages, beginner, intermediate, and expert. In the beginning stages, you're learning tons of information and seeing results quickly. This leads to increased levels of motivation. However, when you hit the intermediate stage, like where I'm currently at, your sense of progress fades and along with it, your motivation. Building a habit is what helps you persevere through the times that motivation isn't there. What's currently been motivating me is the concept of exponential effort every single day, a concept more formally known as the compound effect. As exemplified in this picture here, the smallest amount of effort every single day leads to a final output that is so much greater than no effort at all. If you were to improve by 1% every single day, then you would be 37 times better by the end of the year. If you'd like to learn more about the compound effect, I've listed resources down in the description below. Step two, begin learning the most common words and phrases. When I began this step, I first identified two issues. Since Telugu is not as expansive of a language as English, Hindi, or Spanish, there are less resources to learn, especially if your native tongue is English. And two, learning a language is a complex task. It's particularly hard to understand where exactly to begin. Not only did I have to learn the language, I didn't have some online course which I could learn from. I was charting unexplored territory, and on top of that, I was determined not to spend any money doing so. Thankfully, we live in a time where we have the internet. With some research, I was able to find some great resources to help me learn. Resources such as YouTube videos, apps, and websites. I started by using an app called Mango Languages. Mango Languages is great because it was divided into essential sections, such as greetings, getting to know someone, and family. And each of these sections started off with a conversation to understand the practicality of what you were learning. It has an easy to use interface, including the English translation, a literal translation, audio, Namaskar, and the words spelled in English letters, which helped me immensely. This app is normally paid, however, with some research, I was able to find out how to get it for free. I've linked that resource in the description below. Using this as a foundation, I transitioned to learning by the use of a channel by someone named Praveen Raghi. With Praveen Raghi's videos, I wrote down the sentences on paper and broke down individual words that I didn't know the meanings of. I chose to handwrite these sentences because there's scientific evidence proving that writing is better than typing when it comes to memory. Writing helped me break down the sentences to achieve a deeper level of understanding and focus my attention on the sentence at hand. I personally see a dramatic difference in my recall ability when I write down sentences rather than just typing them. With his videos, which we focus on different parts of the Delta language and vocabulary, I learned essential grammar, such as conjugation and how to ask questions. In addition, I also learned the most common words and phrases. The reason why it's important to focus on the most common words and phrases is based on a concept called the 80-20 rule. To put it simply, what this means is 80% of the results comes from 20% of the work. Some examples include 80% of the wealth is owned by 20% of the people, 20% of a company's products contributes to 80% of their sales. The 80-20 rule for languages specifically, the most frequently used 20% of words account for 80% of word occurrences. Now let's take English for example. There are over 170,000 words in the English language according to the Oxford English Dictionary. However, the most common 1,000 words account for 84% of spoken dialogue. Now, if I did the math correctly, that's actually half a percent of the entire English language. Essentially, if you were to spend your time learning the entire vocabulary, 
a lot of that effort would go to waste. This effort can then be used to improve your speaking and grammar ability, or just work on any current weaknesses that you have. Step three, commit this to memory. After familiarizing myself and writing down these common words and phrases, I need to commit them to memory. I began using the Anki flashcard system to do so. For those who don't know, Anki is a spaced repetition flashcard system. Spaced repetition is an evidence-based learning technique where new or difficult words occur more frequently, whereas older or less difficult words occur less frequently. There are tons of videos on how to download and properly use Anki. I've linked several by the channel Med School Insiders. Dr. Kevin Jabal, who runs that channel, has used Anki to get through medical school and has extensive practice on how to properly use it. He also has great videos on techniques on how to study and learn better. If that interests you, I definitely recommend to check out his channel. Again, I've listed those resources in the description below. Step four, practice speaking. I cannot stress this enough, but ultimately your goal is to speak with actual people. It's the best way to utilize your newfound knowledge. Speaking with someone will help you identify those essential words and phrases to help you make good conversation. Whenever I'm around my parents, I use that as an opportunity to practice. Since they're fluent, not only do I practice, but I can get feedback on my current speaking ability. Which leads me to my next point about speaking, which is don't be afraid to fail. There will be times where you don't know if what you're saying is going to be correct, but instead of withholding those words, just say them. What I learned is that whoever you're speaking with will correct you and teach you on how to say it properly. With all this memorization, there won't be some magical day where you'll be able to speak fluently without this process of failure. Remember, every failure is a step forward to becoming fluent. My first useful tip is to get used to the language. When starting out, it's important to get used to the sounds of the language. A huge portion of language learning is actually unconscious. I recommend listening to podcasts or watching movies just to hear how the language is being spoke. If you're starting from square one, you won't understand anything, but that's okay. Gradually you start hearing reoccurring sounds and get used to the language. As you progress, this is gonna help your overall comprehension immensely. Another tip is to learn grammar to supplement later learning. Learning the rules of language exponentially sped up my learning process as after I learned the rule, I saw the rule come up in other sentences that I was learning. For example, in English, we structure our sentences as subject, verb, object. In this case, he ate the apple. Whereas in Telugu, you switch the place of the object and verb. Sentence structure is subject object verb. For example, Atudu apple ni tinadu. After learning this rule, I knew how to construct sentences that the subject came first and received the action which came last. In the description below, I've linked some especially helpful resources that I use to learn grammar. With a task as long as learning a language, I would often get bored or the process I was using to learn would get too repetitive for my liking. As a result, I would switch up my learning methods on different days or get creative with my learning process. One way I got creative with my learning method is I would look up Telugu songs from my childhood, look up the English translation, and then write that down and practice that English translation while listening to the song. I would also watch kids' cartoons and songs because they often pronounce these words slower, which help with pronunciation. And we all know how songs somehow stick in our heads better than any information that we learn. So other days I would listen to podcasts, watch movies, and listen for specific phrases that I didn't know or I didn't hear of before, and then write those down. This way I was able to practice on the days where I didn't feel like learning sentences or some days where I just didn't feel like learning at all. Those are the four steps that I'm currently using to learn Delphi. Once establishing the habit, learning the common words and phrases, committing these to memory, then actively practice them in conversation, you'll be well on your way to becoming fluent in Telugu. Essentially, what I want this video to be is the video that I could have watched to guide me when I first began the endeavor of learning Telugu. I aim to provide a starting point and inspiration for someone just like me, a Telugu person raised in Western society to learn their native language. I believe there's a lack of proper resources to accomplish this, so I hope I've closed this gap in some way. Again, I've listed more resources in the description to help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you have not. More content about my life coming soon. I wanted to end with Desha Bashalandu Telugu Thank you guys for watching. Peace.